Good afternoon, Vest Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new mod showcase. Well, today kind of looked like we wouldn't get any mods, but here we are. And actually some pretty good mods for today, mainly for a Monday. Some examples of some good ones we got include EY modding's Mossy Ferguson Spur and three huge updates to some maps. But before we get to any of that, make sure to smash that like button. Okay, now roll that intro and let's go. Welcome back. Okay, so here we go with the mods that are available for all platforms. The first one we have is a brand new map, which I'm going to be butchering this name. This is the Araga Valley map. This is 92.22 megabytes. This is from Araga Games. Let's see this map with a relief based in the region of Vale du Araga, which corresponds to three cities that are divided by the Greg Garcus. I think that's how you say that river and the Raga river the map has fields of different sizes and it has an industrial area as well as several cell points this is only 92.22 megabytes so it is actually very small in size uh here is this right here let's actually go down a little bit uh, and let me actually turn on some of the sounds there we go okay turn off the flight state and turn back on the hood now we're gonna go falling all right so this is exactly where you start off it looks really good actually uh, let me take a look at the map. Here is the map. Looks like there isn't any fields, really. Um, maybe, th what's this? This is more probably of a river. Looks like a lot of production. Grape, oil, sugar. Uh, we have cereal, tailor shop, spinnery. Man, there's a lot of productions. Uh, here is some of your vehicles. So let's actually go out here, see the farm. Okay, so here is your house right over here. Where is the rest of your farm? Ah, oh, right over there. Okay, you guys might see some skipping right here. That is because 1.7 just came out and probably all my shaders and stuff are catching up. Uh, okay, so we have some other placeables right here. Looks like a cow area. A few greenhouses. Wow, actually starting off with some greenhouses. The corn looks really tall. And then we have a silo right there. Okay, so this is the map. Not too bad of a map, actually. Uh, the only thing is, of course, it uses the base game sheds. Uh, let me see if you can actually remove these. Let me go to landscape. Yes, yeah, so you can actually sell. Can you sell everything? Let me make sure real quick. Uh, you can sell all that, sell that. So yeah, so if you want to, you can sell the buildings and then make the farm however you want. Okay, so there is that map. Let's get to the rest of the mods for today. Okay, so the first regular mod we have for today is the Mossy Ferguson 185 Sprayer. This is from EY Money. It's 22.42 megabytes. And I'm going to start announcing how many slots, if it is available on console. This one is 10 slots on console. Uh, let's see. It is 75 horsepower, manual plus power shift, 80 liters of fuel, 18 miles an hour, holds 4,000 liters. 4.7 tons, 20 working meters, 9 miles an hour is the operating speed. It is $40,000. Uh, let's see, wheel brand, we got Trellborg, Michelin, Continental, and then let's see, wheel setup, you got standard, narrow tires, wheel weights, and then back to there. So let's go ahead and get one of these real quick. Also, this does either herbicide or it does liquid fertilizer. All right, so let's go right over to here. Okay, let me bring up the help window real quick. Okay, partial width and all that. We got unfold, change working width. So you can go, of course, 7.5, 20, 13.5. I think that is about it. Lights, one, two, two sets of lights. Here is the interior. Of course, this is an EY modding mod, so it's gonna be very detailed. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that engine over. Okay, top speed is 18 miles an hour. It is articulated. Can I go ahead and fill this up over here just really quick? I think I can fill it up right here. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let me uh let me just go ahead and get some fertilizer just really quick. Um pallets, liquid fertilizer. All right, so go back over here. Okay, there is lights in the back. 
Okay, now we can fill it up. Fills up pretty fast, too. See, right there's already a thousand liters. And the 2,000 liters. Okay, so let's go ahead and unfold it. Pretty big area. There it goes down. Let's just go ahead and... Do well, I was going to try to turn it on? Hold on, let me... Uh, let me actually go right over here. Okay, why it is folding, it is limiting you to 8 miles an hour. Okay. Yeah, look, there's the other one I actually put in for the, uh, for the intro right there. I forgot to actually get rid of it. Oops. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and unfold this real quick. I don't know if this thing has the spot spraying or anything like that. I don't think it does. All right. So as you see right there, looks really good. There's the spraying effects. Okay, why can't I get into it now? Hmm. Oh, that's because my controller is messing up again. I don't know why my controller always does that. Okay. There we go right there. There is the Mossy Ferguson 185 sprayer. Okay, next one we have on the list is the McCormick X7 SWB. This is from Blue EA. On consoles, this is 17 slots. Uh, let's see, this is 11.08 megabytes, 165 horsepower, manual plus power shift, uh, 280 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour, 6.6 tons. It is 132,500. Will Brand, we got Trellborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bridestine, uh, Nokian, Trellborg, yes, standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, narrow tires, and then back to standard. This is from Blue EA, so you guys are going to know this is going to have a lot of different options on this. Got communals, got a whole bunch of stuff right there. Let me actually go right there. Uh, let's see, warning signs, no or yes. Uh, front loader attacher, no. Quickie, Hauer, and then no. Engine setup, you got the X7 617P6 drive, which is 165. The 618, which is 175, and that is it. Uh, let's see, main color, you either got standard, special, or yellow. I really like that special. Uh, rim color, you either got gray or black, and that is it on that. So let's actually take a look at this in game. Let's go right over here. Uh, I see, I really like that color. Look at this, this thing is nice. Here is the interior, nice interior. Okay, we got some beacons on the top, rotating ones. One, two, three, three sets of lights. Uh, turn signals, those all work. Can okay, I be quiet so you guys can hear that engine? Not too bad of an engine sound either. Here it is in here, everything loading up. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using this thing. All right, let's see, horn. Looks like we also have the door right there, and you can also open up the back window. Okay, top speed, 32 miles an hour. It gets up to speed pretty fast, too, right up to 25 right there. And 32 right there. Wow, nice, nice tractor. This is the McCormick X7 SWB. Now we have the Fershrit TOAA pack from AAA Modding. This is 28.80 megabytes. This is 11 slots on console. Uh, this thing includes a trailer, includes the 997 trailer, D353 manure spreader, the MPSZ1500 fertilizer spreader. So configuration, like I said, standard. We got the trailer, we got the manure spreader, and we got the fertilizer spreader. So the standard, of course, can hold 12,000 liters. The trailer can hold 25,000 liters. Manure spreader, 12,000, and the fertilizer spreader, 10,000 liters. Uh, wheel setup, you got standard. You got crawler track, so wow, you can actually put some crawlers on there. Uh, main color, you either got blue, green, brown, or we got red. The rim color, you got red, white, yellow, or stainless on that. So that right there is the TO88 pack. Next, we have a new mulcher for today. This is the Skid Steer Forestry Mulcher from Bargain Mods. It's 3.55 megabytes. It is only four slots on consoles. 
This skid steer forestry mulcher is a fun and versatile tool that will allow you to clean your property, clearing bushes and grass, mulching wood, and even felling and mulching standing trees. Uh, price is 9,500. Required power is 65. Working with is two uh, working meters. And let's see, you can change the color pretty much to any color you want. So if you wanted to have it as Sam's purple, you can have it as Sam's purple. So that is the mulcher. Next, we have some weights. This is the 10 Winkle David series. This is from Picks by Obeliner. I think that's how you say that. It's 3.95 megabytes. On console, these range all the way from one slot all the way up to two slots. So we have the 800, 700, 1000, 1100, 1200, and that is it. All the way ranging from 700 kilograms all the way up to 1.2 tons. Uh, options on these looks like just you can change the colors i think hold on yes you can only change the colors to pretty much any color you want okay now let's get you some placeables for today the first one we have is the extra large sheep barn pack and this is from fluffy mods it's 1.68 megabytes this one right here is 10 slots on console and this one right here with just the fencing is only two slots on console so what this does this pack contains bigger versions of the base game sheep enclosures so these each hold 250 uh, sheep. Wool capacity is 18. Feed capacity is 60,000 liters. Daily upkeep is $150. So all this does is it pretty much, you know, ups so you can hold more sheep right there. All right, where can you find this? Let's go under animals, sheep, and there they are right there. The fence one is only $28,000, and then this one is $99,000. Now we have a new production building for today. This is the farm sawmill. This is from the Lord. It is 14.89 megabytes. It is 16 slots, so not bad. This sawmill fits perfectly on your farm. It works like a standard sawmill, but it can also produce furniture. So this is $10,000. Maintenance is $5 a day. The capacities it can actually hold. Uh, let's go right in here. Uh, let's see, you can make wood and furniture, but the capacities it can hold 100,000 liters of wood, uh, 100,000 liters of boards, uh, 30,000 liters of wood chips and 25,000 liters of furniture. So let's go ahead and just turn one on. Just uh, there's the sounds right there. There's the button to sell. You drop it off in there and you can drop it off in there. Let me actually go real quick right here. Let's see, wood and wood. See, I wish it was a production where we can actually do something with wood chips. But anyways, where can you find this? Let's go into production. And there it is right there. It's pretty cheap, $10,000. Now we have the last new mod for today, which is selling stations. This is from Fernand 24, 6.71 megabytes. This one right here is five slots, and this one is only three slots. What this thing accepts, it accepts TMR, silage, hay, straw, sugar beets, cut sugar beets, and potatoes. So there's that right there. It is only $15,000 for uh, the selling station, so not too bad. Uh, let's go right over to here. Let me actually show you guys where you guys can get these selling points and there they are right there 25,000 for the bigger one sorry and then $15,000 for the little one so not too bad okay but anyways guys that is all the mods for all platforms for today let's go and take a look at the updates which we got some big updates to go over okay the first update we got for today is for backroads county what changed to this one fixed windmill generating income on starter farm farms now own their placeable lights relocate a number of trees further away from field lines Fixed cow pasture duplicate, relocated collectibles, added display case for collecting all collectibles, added a bale load area and trigger to cow pasture, fixed game breaking issue with trees near field 21 that caused console game crashes, and it does require a new save. Next, we have an update to Was Nice. What changed to this one? Added FS22 standards to all static buildings, uh, added lighting in several places, added Polish license plates, a second farm has been added, the traffic volume has been reduced, Large electric poles replaced, removed flying help icons, land purchase issue fixed, fixed field 31 problem, fixed various visual bugs reported by players, the rotation of the fields has been reversed, and northeast ending of the map has been improved. So it's probably going to require a new save on this one too. Then we have another map update. This is for Riverview Farm. What changed on this one? Fixed a few floating trees. All production points now have increased storage capacities allowing for large amounts of produce to be sold or delivered to them. A large animal pen with increased capacities for animal, milk, slurry, and food added to the build menu. 11 sheds added to the in-game build menu. Some wall types and a hedge added to the build menu. 
fixed some streetlights not correctly positioned, uh, disturbed simulations UK growth calendar implemented, some XML files updated to use functions introduced in the 1.5 patch, such as storage bins having the ability to jump to them, uh, post inside hedges made collidable. This will stop the post dropping through the map after been cut away. And then last but not least, the farm sign can now be cut with a chainsaw to remove it and probably going to be needing a new save. Let's see, it says, note, this is a save game compatible, but to see all changes to factories, a new game would be required. Okay, now the regular updates we got for today. The first one we have is the SIP Disk 300. What changes in this one? Fixed uncached shader for console release. Then the last update we have for all platforms for today is the silage factory. What changes in this one? Production speed adjusted built-in bell triggers and logo redone. So that is everything for all platforms. Let's head on over and take a look at the PC only ones for today. Okay, now welcome to the PC only mods for today. Let's start off with a new tractor. This is the Urbo 6125 from Savvy Modding. It's 12.75 megabytes. The Urbo 6125 is a Spanish tractor from the 80s with about 125 horsepower. This tractor was made after the union of the Urbo Iberia SA and the Nissan Motors. The tractor has a six cylinder Perkins engine. It was a raw tractor with a lot of force and a little uncomfortable, but the tractor has been a very hard tractor and has lasted many years. The base price on this is 26,500. Uh, the engine configuration, you got the 6125, which is 125. Uh, let's see, uh, manual plus power shift, 115 liters of fuel, 26 miles an hour is the top speed, six tons. Uh, you can put a front, front weight on it, yes or no. Uh, wheel brand, you got 12 board, Michelin, Continental, 12 board, you got standard, wide tires. I think it's pretty much gonna be the same for Michelin. Oh, you can actually add wheel weights to it. Uh, Continental is just standard. Beacons, center. Ooh, center. Center. We never usually get a center one. Left, right, dual. Uh, fenders, you got no or yes. Front letter attached, you got no, quickie, power, or no. Main color, you either got the black or you got the blue. I kind of like it with the black. And then that's it on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one in game. All right, so here it is in game. Let me bring up the F1 menu. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here is the interior, which of course my controller is messing up again. Seriously, I just need to get this thing wired or something. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, here is the interior. Okay, lights. One, two, three. Three sets of lights. Rotating beacons. Got the hazards right there. Actually, I pushed the wrong one. There we go. There's the hazards. All right, let's go ahead and. Turn the engine over. Not bad engine sounds either. Here it is on in here. Okay, anything right here doesn't look like it. Okay, like I said, top speed is 26 miles an hour. It does take a minute to shift. And, okay, don't hit that wall. <laughs> okay, so sorry, 27 miles an hour. Okay, so that is the Urbo. Next, we have another new mulcher for today. This is the Lopez Gerardo TGA 2200. This is from Raleigh Christie. This is an excellent forge shredder, very strong and robust to completely remove all the forge. It is $6,288. Let's see, required power is 85. Working speed, 18 uh, miles per hour. Sorry, seven miles per hour. Uh, working width is only 2.2 and there is no options for this one. But the level of detail, man, wow. Now this last one is a pretty nice one right here. I wish this was on console. This is the Cartridge HDC 2734 trailer. This is from GTX. It is 3.43 megabytes. Using a high quality Karcher parts, this custom pressure washer trailer will keep your equipment clean for many years to come. So we got the trailer right here. You can put the wash additive. Yes, I said wash. The wash additive right there. Uh, hose, you can actually customize the hose all the way from 32 foot all the way up to 90, uh, 98 foot. Uh, you got rim color, you got silver, gray, or dark gray right there. And that is about it right there. But what makes this cool is this additive. And what this additive does, it actually increases the washing speed by 50%. So not bad, right? Okay, so anyways guys, that is all the mods for PC. I think there was like one or two updates to go over for PC and then that will be it.
Okay, so the first update we have for PC for today is the 30 flatbed auto loading trailer pack. What changed in this one? Added support for FS22 selectable bail capacity mod two times, three times, and four times bails. Also added rear strobe lights. Use a standard beacon light key to activate. Then the last update we have is the info display extension. What changed in this one? Solved an error in the quantity shown of feeding robots when the recipe was alternate fill types. Okay, so that is everything for PC and console for today. Okay, so that right there was the new mods for today. Let me know in the comment section below which one you guys think is the best mod that came out today. Mine would of course be probably that Mossy Ferguson sprayer. Anyways though, today's schedule after this video, FS Daily News, I just don't know though if I'll get it out by 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Might be an hour later because well, new mods came out really late. Anyways, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, to hit that sub button and, of course, hit that notification bell. Well, have an amazing day, guys. I will see you guys later. Peace.